Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Dolls. Like two months ago, someone approached me and asked me, can you make my doll dreams? And I said, of course I can make it. She asked me to make a kitsune. Kitsune is a Japanese folklore fox. The only thing that she asked me was that she would be blue and purple and I use a cat noir monster high doll as a base. And I look for inspiration on Pinterest and in the film White Snake, I saw this amazing mercenary fox, something like that. And I say that's the one. I pick up my monster high and as usual, I start to clean her. I have to cut the hair really short. Oh God, it was too short. I cut the ears. <laughs> I will fix it later. Uh, no one will notice. You didn't see anything. So I will continue <laughs> cutting the hair and cleaning her to customize. With my hair dryer, I make the vinyl of the hair soft and I take the neck out and oh my god again this doll yeah I will fix it later also <laughs> and then I take the rest of the hair from the neck hole with my flyers with 100% acetone I clean her from the factory paint For my own experience, I know that watercolor pencils will not work really good on black vinyl. I tried it once with my Bastek doll and Mr. Super Clear, he left kind of a power layer that I didn't like it. So this time I'm going directly with acryl paint and a really really tiny brush and wish me luck. I'm starting with white acryl to give it the base for the color because if you put color in a white base it will show up better. In this case I'm gonna use light colors like blue and purple and gold. I want them to be really opaque and really bright and that's why I'm giving her the first layer in white. There are foxes that they possess paranormal abilities that increase as they get older and wiser. According to yokai folklore, all foxes have the ability to shape shift into human form. I look at the internet for a couple of designs to put it on the face inspired in the Japanese folklore and Japanese culture. Of course, I give it a, a little bit of touch of mine. As an artist, I'm, I don't want to copy anyone. And I think it happens with all artists. We all like to give a little bit of touch from ourselves. This look very easy, but it's really, really difficult. <laughs> I have to redo this a lot of, like a thousand times. Now I let it dry and I can start building my colors. I want to say thank you for this opportunity and this commission. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know who you are. I hope you love her as much as I do and I, I hope she will bring you a little bit of love and happiness to your life. I'm not gonna say that this doll is available on Etsy because she's already sold but uh, you can visit my shop, you can find the link on the description box below and you can find really nice Christmas presents there and really unique.
Now it's time to make the yarn. For the hair I choose white, light purple and dark purple. Everyone knows how to do yarn wet, but I let you see once more how you do it. You just pick up the yarn of your choice, you just have to be 100% acryl, then you cut it. Some people use a card to measure, I do it by eye, I cut it, I put it on a stick. I brush it with my brush until I get this shiny fiber. And then in a plastic surface with some tacky glue or other glue that will dry clearly, I will glue it the top of the weft and let it dry for the night. I start painting the sculpt of the doll in the same colors of the yarn that I chose. In this case I'm gonna put in the front side the light color, the white and then I go down with the light purple and I finish with the dark purple. And I'm gonna make the same color scheme on the tail. For the hair I always use my hair straightener to give it more shiny to the hair but for the tail I don't think it's necessary it makes it more fluffy then with the hot glue I start building the hair in the ears I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit the ears of Cat Noir to look like more foxy I don't know if the word exists, but uh, you understand what I mean. At the bottom, until my way up, until the top. I use hot glue because I don't have any patience to wait. I see a lot of artists, they make uh, wig caps and they use PVC glue or tacky glue. I think it's amazing that they have a lot of patience. I don't have it, I'm sorry. To style the hair, it's one of the things that yarn is really good on it, you can style it the way you want it. I use water first and a toothbrush and then I fix it with a hairspray. I pull the hair in the back side and then I finish the face with micro powder in blue color. It's time for the body. I'm gonna send it all the factory marks and I'm gonna clean it with acetone free nail polish to take all the fat and all the dusty from the sanding that the body might have. I'm gonna change the lower arms and the hands for a Claudine arms they are more foxy, they have claws and I have to paint them also in black so I'm using 
black acryl diluted on water and I give it a brush also in the body because the body lost a little bit of the shiny with the sanding and I don't like the look so I give it a layer of acryl also and I let it dry it's time for the kimono I'm gonna use this light blue fabric for the kimono and I'm gonna attach it this amazing ribbon with gold uh, palettes to the sleeves and with this blue I will make the, the color of the kimono I'm gonna close it around it with this sticky ribbon because I don't want you to see any stitches because this is a really really light fabric and it will be very ugly for the obi I choose this purple cotton fabric and the same fabric that I use in the color of the kimono I finish everything with this gold ribbon that I sew it directly on the obi and then I'm gonna decorate it with some purple satin ribbon and accessories I'm gonna decorate the end of the ribbons with some bells and some beads to give it more detail Out of camera I make her socks that I'm gonna finish with this dark blue embroidery cord that I'm gonna glue it with super glue under the sock and then I'm gonna attach it directly to the shoe base like the traditional Japanese shoes. I paint them in light blue also and I finish them with glossy varnish. For the mask, I get inspiration on this one. I printed this fox mask in my 3D printer and now I'm gonna paint it in white. And I'm gonna use the same colors, purple, light blue and gold to give it the details. As I told you, for the mask, I look inspiration in the white snake film in the mercenary fox. And I love the idea that in one side she have a normal face and then she turn around the face and then she have the mask and that's what I wanted exactly for my doll. I wanted my doll in one side she have a normal face and then you turn around the head and you see a fox. I finished the mask also with the same ribbons and the tails that I give it in the kimono to bring it all together. I glue it directly in the back side of the head with the hot glue. And that's how she looks 
from the back side and now the front side I'm gonna use this dental something <laughs> I'm gonna use this tube that they use in the dentist I work in the dentist so but I'm not a dentist so I don't know the name I just look at him and say oh it's perfect for my tail so I'm gonna bring it with me I attach uh, more wire to make it more than one tail and now I'm gonna cover everything with the rest of my yarn webs I go around it with, with hot glue and fix it and then I finish it with craft tape around it to make it saved and to hold shape on it and I finish the tail with the same color yarn that I use for the hair I start with the white in the point I go to the light purple and then I finish it with the dark purple I give her three tails and believe me this took me three days to make the tails and the only thing it left to do is put everything together and finish her eyes and lips with Varnick Glossy. I left you with the final photos of her. I hope you love her. It was a, a new experience for me. It was the first time I make a fox. It will not be the last one, I promise. And thank you for all of your support. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, it's really really important. You just have to click the button, leave your like, leave your comments. I read all of your comments, they're really really important for me. And the only thing I have left to say is <laughs> I see you on my next video. Bye!